you know, a few times on this record, we'd loosely start working on a song. I'd, I, everyone would, they want me to sing so they can start building the song around it. And I'd been working on these songs for a couple of months before we started recording. Martin gave me all the demos, set up a vocal mic through the speakers, and I start just singing. It was you that took my soul and threw it in the fire. And After I'd finished, uh, I turned around and Martin just looked at me and was nodding his head like this. And, you know, that was the best feeling, you know. It's obvious that when we get together and Dave starts singing the songs that I've uh, demoed at home, doesn't matter how good the demo is, the moment Dave's voice goes on it, it kind of has, gives it a stamp of approval and a stamp of, of authority. If we're about to make a record or we're talking about making a record, he will go into his studio and start to formulate ideas to see if something's happening. You know, see if it's percolating. For the first time ever, really, um, when the band and Ben listened to the songs, the demos for the first time, we were amazed by the quality of the songs, but particularly amazed in the direction. I think it made the recording of this record a lot easier because we had um, you know, a, a, a basic template that we knew that we liked. Strongly sort of drawing on like a blues influence, that, that Delta blues thing. Sort of crawling, a bit sleazy, a bit dirty. Sometimes we, you know, try out like 10 different approaches to it, you know, and there'll usually be one that's reggae. That, you know, never works, but we always try it. Each song has a punch to it in some kind of way, and it's direct. And if there's a, if that song's driven by a riff, we work around that. If a song's driven by the vocal melody and, and the, the vocal part, then everything's got to work around that, you know. A song like Heaven, for instance, was an obvious uh, uh, example of that, where we were very conscious about not overworking the musical elements, so they distracted from um, the vocal. To me, uh, Heaven is a one, of the, one of the reasons why I still make music. Sometimes I sigh Once in a while, a song comes along, something that I have to sing. It's not something I want to sing. It, it feels like it's, um, you know, putting on a, a pair of boots that I've worn for years that I love. It, it fits. I knew that this was going to be the linchpin. Everything has got to be as good as this. Well, Heaven um, is interesting because Martin really cracked it on this with Heaven. And um, pretty much, apart from Dave's voice being there, but not Martin's voice, the actual finished thing it was, is, is pretty similar. Soothe My Soul is another. A lot of the time when, when we start an album, we have a song and it might work quite well, but we want to take it in a, in a different direction and make it better. Martin has this thing, he, he doesn't like sometimes the pop side of what we do, but then he goes ahead and writes, <laughs> writes a pop tune, you know, and, um, and that took a lot of work. to every day in the studio when we're working. You know, it's, it's a joy to get up and go to work.
really good. Was it? It was so you'd be on your knees. It's a, it's a, a loop. It's playing the same thing. Okay. It'd probably be better if you just take, like, you know, yeah, one little one. good bit. Do one little good bit a bit more first, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A bit longer. Yeah, when there's one little good bit, I'll let you know. <laughs> I find it a, a miracle that we're, you know, still able to do this this far into our career. If you want control without any pain. It's, it's a fairy tale for us in the band, you know, we never dreamed of this. Uh, but one thing we knew is we, you know, we wanted to keep it as well once we got it. We cannot be found, replaced by another. You know, we've had our struggles and our ups and downs, and uh, but um, I think I'm supposed to do it. I mean, I'm not good at anything else. <laughs>